Ladies and gentlemen, I am Star-Lord Nuthor-7, your planetary defense commander. And I have bad news, and I have good news. The bad news is that the end times, or the end of times, are upon us. The good news is, according to the king of weather twitter, cranky weather guy, the unprecedented and historic end of times are upon us, but only for two days. Not much else to discuss, but give it a read anyway over at his blog. Your life may or may not depend on this vital information. So, I'll leave his blog linked for you in my information box. And so, I have a saying at Thor News, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people kind of act weird. It's kind of sort of freak out. And so, as Cranky was mentioning, that's end of times. And I will definitely admit, the world is kind of crazy. The weather is kind of crazy. People are kind of crazy. The sky's been kind of crazy. The heat's been kind of crazy. The cool's been kind of crazy. And so, yeah, at times it feels like the end of the world. But we've been having the world end since Y2K. 1999, they were like, all computers are going to hit zero. And then we're all going to die. I was like, oh no. Oh shit, what do we do? And people were like, well, let's make no medium or long-term good plans. Let's max out our credit. And let's, let's act like our actions have no consequences. I was like, that sounds like a shitty idea. And it's like 19 years later. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was a shitty idea. Let's do something else. Looks like the world's ending, but it's been looking like that for almost 20 years. So we're going to kick ass, take names, be weather warriors. And we're going to make and adapt to these earth weather changes that are happening as the sun changes itself. If you want to know exactly what science has to say, you go talk to science. I am me, the T. And so when the Earth acts weird, and the Sun acts weird, everything is weird. And so, Hawaii, uh, it's an extra day, and I'm putting out an extra high alert for you guys. I'll explain why in a bit. But here's another signal for a giant massive storm around September 11th. Look at the size of these rain man, rain bands. That's a lot of moisture, a lot of rain. A lot of flooding, a lot of problems. And this is about the time everybody in the meteorological community agrees that the Atlantic could be active AF. That means it's fuck. Sorry, kids. But if you hit in the face with a tornado, you or a hurricane, you'll be screaming the F word. 70% of you. So, yeah, hurricane season is here. And we've been having surprise geomagnetic storms as... The sun, solar wind has been literally punching our magnetic sphere. Which I think pushes wind around as well. So everybody has been saying, hey, guess what, you guys? We got hurricanes coming probably. As hurricanes, I mean, typhoons have been hitting the West Pacific. And getting damn near close to Hawaii, close enough to cause damage. So this is brought to us by the weather bell. Ding, ding. So, yep, yeah, things have been crazy. And things are going to get crazier. And... The next week of Thor News is going to be weird because I'm supposed to be moving in five days to Colorado. I'm kind of freaking out about a move. you ever moved anywhere? It can be kind of stressful, right? So not only do I have to deal with moving all my shit to a whole other state in five days and can't really afford it, my job is planning to defense commander, bring you all information, do such a good job that I can afford to do that shit. We got the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man here with the pumpkin spice latte in the wrong ass season. How many more signs do you need? We are not going to lose, but we are going to have to do that part of the end of the movie where everybody gets their shit together, they be their best selves, they work together as a team, and they meet the damn Stay Puff Marshmallow Man challenges. We ain't going to die, but if we stand around bitching about shit, then we ain't going to get nothing done. Um, I want to bang you like a drum. Obviously, I was talking to a drum. Because they make cool noises. If you hit them right. Smack them. You can smack them. You can smack drums in your hands. Stu Ostro reminds us that holy shit, the weather is crazy. Like it has been doing massive major flooding in Wisconsin. This severe thunderstorm line segment blasted 130 miles in two hours. With those astronomical rain totals we have been seeing lately. Like in Hawaii, 50 inches. A year ago, Harvey, 50 inches. Arcane Lane dropped about 50 on Hawaii. And so, state of emergency declared, again, 
thousands lose power, evacuations, evacuations, water rescues, mudslides, landslides. It's crazy, and that storm is moving east and north. So, it's best that everybody pay attention, stay prepared, stay aware. Remember, you are majestic, you're awesome, and you're fantastic. But, I'm reminding you, everybody in the meteorological community is basically saying, Hey y'all, we got about a week, two weeks to prepare. And definitely around August 22nd, it should be crazy. And then, the lovely Kira Kossarin was like, Hey, earthquake. I love LA earthquake Twitter for some reason. It's always cute to see everybody start getting interested in a truth community subject. So, yeah, there was a 4.4 earthquake in South California, Los Angeles. I lived there for a year. Third in the Brea. Crazy. Um, all the planets are still on the same side, so we're all getting used to this new energy. Here's a live shot of me and Cranky. Cranky screaming at kids to get off his Twitter lawn. And me talking about how I tried something in my car the other night that I'd seen in a cartoon and somehow still lived. People are like, that looks like you guys are about to kiss. And no, he'd probably start screaming about Charlie's there on. And then I'd start mentioning how I am going crazy because I got a viewmaster of Taylor Emma, and Selena's butts in my brain that like rotates at all times and I don't know how to shut it off. And then I got to switch between that crazy ass lightning who everybody always loves and tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, typhoons, volcanoes. While everybody's going, oh my God, did you hear the crazy political thing that happened 12 minutes ago? I'm like, no, because I blocked it out. But yeah, this lightning storm is crazy. Oh, and this is the mood of I'm in. Everybody's like in Houston is preparing, like talking about oh, the one year moment. And I was like, yep, this is this Hurricane Harvey nostalgia moment brought to you by Enron flooding and lava and auto insurance. You can read it for yourself, although don't read it if cuss words hurt you. So we had a seven earthquake in New Caledonia, Vanatu. I believe there's an earthquake or a volcano over there. So it is just like the volcanoes have been lit, have been erupting. And the, I mean, the earthquake situation now, no one can hide the math. I always highly recommend suspicious observers. Space weather and earthquake stuff is great. Dutch since. On YouTube is a master as well. They're both on YouTube. Um, Suspicious Observers has an app for earthquake warnings and predictions that are usually pretty accurate. I highly recommend them. But yeah, it's it's wild. Like, but this is my season. This is like comet, hurricane, volcano, asteroid season, bro. And I have an idea. Let's all work together for a common goal of the future, making the future better for everyone in all ways. That's the only thing that's going to work. I say, let us do it. And I skipped one of my things. Damn it. I hate when that happens. Another thing. This chaser dude, I Cyclone, is pointing out that the GFS was having trouble. And it's been having trouble a couple of nights where, like, the main one finishes up. Oh, why are you listening? Oh, it, it finally completed. Damn it. It's too slow. But it left the last half of the frames out while the other ones completed. And so every single night it's done that almost. And then they make it look like, yeah, no, Hawaii's fine. But I don't, I don't have, that's not the feeling I have. I think we need to prepare like one of these three or four hurricanes that is heading towards Hawaii. It's probably going to bring more major rain, flooding, problems, wind. And we also will keep the eye out for volcano and earthquake activity. So this one goes north and that one's going north. But every night they take extra time with the Hawaii frame for some reason. And so last time they didn't think it was going to come anywhere close to Hawaii and it caused a lot of problems. I think we might see that happen again. So yeah, this is just an Atlantic reminder and a weather reminder that shit is crazy right now. And that storm is going to... Look how big that thing is. That thing is causing problems. From Oklahoma up into Canada. Now let's run through it together, shall we? This is the European. 
man, I didn't do like an R-rated stand-up comedy, whether once in that. Or if like you can handle cussing, then you can handle it. Making adult jokes for adults would be funny. Maybe. For people who can handle it. Yeah, so I'm reminding you the tropics about to get weird. And it's pretty weird and things are pretty active. The numbers for the earthquakes are pretty dang impressive. Let me do let me see if I can Google it. Earthquake. This is where I'm gonna lose it. Earthquake. I'm sorry, this must be the worst boring. Like, how are you doing? I've recorded like four videos already. And I was like, that wasn't very good. And so like, this is the fifth or fourth one. It's the Earthquakes 2018. So you've had number of magnitudes compared to other years. It's like right now, though, it's not Where are we at? Do do do. All right. Are we in July? No, we're in August. Holy crap! The video was going great, and then just fell off the rails. Okay, but if you look at this, um, we've had one earthquake over 8.0, three earthquakes over 7.0, including one tonight. I don't know if they've updated that. It may be four. Right? 19 that are six. 142 that are 5. So let's. Main numbers are 1, 3, and 19. Compared to 1, 3, 19. 1, 3, 19. 1, 3, 19. 1, 3, 19. One three nineteen. Um, one three nineteen. One three nineteen. This did have three in the sevens, but in the sixes it only had eight. So as you can see, that this month has definitely been out of average, out of normal. Usually per year, there's only one or two mat eights, and you know to have a third of your sevens in one month seems to be kind of crazy. So I would definitely continue to watch this earthquake trend along with the volcanoes. We've had several uh, Mount Etna is still erupting, so a little of the volcanoes that have been erupting are continuing to erupt in this historic end of times. Although it's only going to end for two days. How long am I going to freak out about <clears throat> rent and moving and paying bills and getting my car fixed and all that shit? I don't know. Am I going to make it? Probably. I've been doing this for a long time and I get better at it every single month. Though, things are strange. So, stay cool. Be cool. I'm going to be talking to you a lot. I hope you like it. Because I like you. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool. You may now. Hit the button, which is just the off button, man. Hit the button means go out, play, do something fun. Like, like if your girlfriend looked in the eye and you say, hey, hit the button, baby. What does that mean to her? I don't know, but I'd like to find out. My girlfriend, not your girlfriend. Okay, cool.